about uh, the matchups in the midfield? Can you see any tags? Oh, oh what a grab out there by oh, Buick. Some great elevation. What a sensational that mark that was by Buick. Have a look at this again. Just a great leap, great mark. Richo, you asked about those matchups in the midfield as we get it from another angle. That is one of the contenders of mark of the year already. Penelope in there. Trying to work it out the back. A back heel tap. Deliberate it was. And that was a deliberate kick by side bottom as well. Creative play from two creative players. Now for Solo. Long ball. Got really good position here as White. Over the top. Three bites. Got it. Plays on goal. All clear. Some not so good. Opportunity. White. Over the back. Here's Cloak. Almost through. Clay Beams did really well. Then put it back in the danger zone. Cloak kicks the goal. Dominating around the packs at the moment. The Pies, Swan, Pendlebury and side bottom combined. That's always going to be dangerous. As for Solo. Meets this one full chested. Only played 15 of Collingwood's last 45 games for Solo. He too has had foot issues. He's a great celebrator for Solo. He's back up forward. I think that's where he belongs for Solo. And he loved it. Big bomb Collingwood. Sinclair finishes it again to Blair. Now Cloaks, one out here, doing a nice job, was Clark trying to turn him around. Paparone for support. Cloaks got to beat a couple, when will the troops arrive? Didn't need him, the big man. Pulled the kick magnificently. And Varco low. Well done, Travis Cloak. Rich is there, just to mop up, although under pressure. Yeah, the pressure has been really consistent for the Magpies. Look at that again, Taylor Adams did really well. Buick's got some space. Can they build something here? Robinson played 100 games with Carlton over six seasons. He's got a target. And again, well done, Sinclair. They are right up in the face of Brisbane at the moment. Credit to Colling with their structures. Look really good. Good kick, though, from Rockcliffe. Opens up the space. Aish, who's been really quiet. Now to Rich. On to Robinson. He's got to get past Goldsack. Taylor had a fumble, and then he got poleaxed. No free kick. Now Zorko playing in the goal square. Kick around the body. They desperately need one. Zorko's got it. A bit going on over the... Off the footy as well with Christensen. Got a little bit of uh, action happening in the top of the stand it's here a bit now. of half-time drama. And the stand has caught fire, Richo and yes. BT. And so they've evacuated the area directly below that. They've cleared the seats. Well, Betra, he wishes he had. Yeah, it's an interesting point you make. Opportunity here for Dane Swan. I think he kept in. That was clever. Side bottom is also clever. He's kicked a ripping goal to start the second half. That's his second still side bottom. Disappointed with his output so far. Tuvi emerges with the footy. Oh, the leap from behind. Great effort from Elliot. There it is. He's a great marking player. So there's Tom Rockcliffe, and he's going to be a very, very sore boy. Point of the knee. Oh. Right in the side of his ribs, under his armpit. And yeah, that's ribs. I, th I think he's going to be in a fair bit of strife to get back way. onto the ground tonight. For Solo, beautiful chip, gave Goldsack an opportunity here. Thought about Varco, went with him in the end. Handball comes back to Blair. He runs into an open goal. And Collingwood on fire at the moment. Five goals in the second, third quarter. Brendan Favola debuted for the Brisbane Lions. Yep, the first time that they've kicked consecutive goals in this match. Josh Green and Christensen, the last two. They go forward again. They give themselves a chance here. Can Martin hand it off to Lewis Taylor? He's going to go to the outside of the boot banana and make it three in a row as he is. Grundy's been super impressive. First hand to it again. Beams has worked hard. Kick forward by Rich. Start in the middle. We've got a good bounce as it got through hands. It might be the first goal of the last quarter. It's the last four goals to Brisbane. Advantage, advantage, advantage. You heard the umpire. It was clear. Here's Clay Beams from inside the centre square. A big ball. Green! Both Dukes on it. Free will go to Green. Great effort. He was three on one there, Josh Green. I think it was against Langdon. So Green here. To get it back to 22 points. And a possibility for Brisbane. BT said the 26-minute mark of the third quarter, Collingwood by 53 points. The last six goals, Brisbane's way. And Josh Green, well, he thinks he's in range. He's got to mark it here. He's got to go back. He'll have there. to kick it 52 metres. Richo with a wet, heavy ball. It'll take his best. Tough kick. He's given it off to the man who can kick it, though. Rich lines up from 52. Don't worry about the distance. Seven in a row to the Lions. Unbelievable seeds. 
We're back to a 10-point ball game. Siren sounds. Collingwood have got Adelaide next week. But tonight at the Gabba, they win in front of a fast-finishing Brisbane Lions.